What do you think is the best tool or gear for your creative work? I just want to talk about it today. Just a little bit. This is Snoopy Holic and welcome back to my video. And I am very happy to see you again. Hope you are too. <laughs> uh, right now I am drinking um, Gaoshan Cha from Taiwan and that is the green kind of oolong tea from Taiwan and um, made with the, in the high high altitude so it has a really um, nice refreshing taste uh, I didn't like the this kind of tea while winter or or autumn but because it's the, the season has arrived the spring has arrived I think uh, I tend to drink more of this tea this light kind of oolong rather than heavy oolong, you know. And yes, I would like to talk about the, what is the best gear slash best tool for your creative work. Um, I, I want to talk about it because I yesterday I was... Uh, I was walking out. I was heading to the library to pick up some books. And then I bumped into this uh, plum blossom tree. And then this was like really, really beautiful, beautiful blossoms just in front of me and I couldn't just pass by. So I stopped there and then started taking photo with my phone. And um, I took this really nice photo well in my opinion <laughs> in my opinion I took this really beautiful photo like like this and this this and by the time when I took this photo I I was like okay I wanna take better photo and then I that means I want to pick up my proper camera. So I started to run back to my home and then grab my camera and went back again, which didn't take five minutes. It took less than five minutes and then I was there and then the magic was gone. You know, <laughs> what happened was when I was there taking photo, while taking photo, it was like a, there was a, sun was hitting really nice and it was warm and beautiful and there was this magical atmosphere around it and everything because of the sunshine and stuff and then when I'm back rushing back home and back during that five minutes sun was gone and then it was not magical anymore So I was very, very disappointed and everything. Oh, but I mean, I took some photo anyway because I had my camera with me. So I, I took a few shots and movie and everything and stuff. But I, I that was the moment that I start to regret that maybe I just sh should have just... Uh, if I wanted to capture more photos and videos, maybe I just should have done this with this phone rather than just rushing back home and grab an, a big camera and come back. And that was the point that I started to think, what is the best gear? Because uh, 
if you have this moment of perfection and everything, and then you don't have anything with you, that means you can't capture the anything. I mean, if you're a photographer, for example, you want to take this nice picture in the right light and everything, and you want to take picture, but you don't have camera with you. What's the point? But if, if you have at least your mobile in your pocket somewhere, then that means you can use this at least and capture that moment. But um, if you have nothing, that means you have nothing, right? And it's, it becomes like the same to the like other sort of uh, art forms like um, for writers, if you don't have paper or pen with you, that means you're doomed. And uh, for painters, if you don't have a brush and if you don't have brush and paint and sketchbook, then that means you can't draw, right? But at least if you have this tool that you carry every day and basically try to be stick with it like for 24 hours, then you mean, it means that you can do something, right? You can take photo with this and you can type in things that you can, you want to write in and then you can doodle at least, right? With these small things. So, but what I'm trying, I'm not trying to say mobile phone is your best gear or tool. I, I'm not just, I'm, I don't want to say that. But uh, my point is the best tool or gear for your creative work is what you have at the time with you, right? So, I mean, what you have to do is just... Uh, you have to, first you have to prepare, be prepared. Like if you wanna grab a good video, good, uh, some degree of quality video, that means you have to carry your camera all the time. And photographer too. And then painter, we yeah, have paint, brush, sketchbook. That's the minimum that you have to carry with you all the time. And writers, yep. Yeah, notebook, pen, paper, whatever you want to write in, yes, you have to carry that with you all the time. That's uh, that's the basic. You have to be prepared. You have to get ready. So you have to uh, you have to have your gear with you all the time. That's the basic. But then I'm just saying when you don't have them, when that's the moment that you don't have it, then that means you have to stop thinking, oh, I wish, I wish I had this. I wish I was carrying this. I wish I had it with me. You just forget about everything. You just uh, use whatever you have with you at the time and at the moment and then do your best to use it with you. So if I, I mean, yeah, I didn't take, I wanted to take some video yesterday with the Blossom. That's why I rushed back to the my home so that I can do it. And then I kind of regret that I didn't do it with this phone. I mean, if I did it at least with this, then it means I at least have a footage of it for that right moment. Even if it's a lower quality and... And a bit, I don't know, smaller, smaller version. Still, I have that moment recorded, right? It's better than nothing, I think. So yeah, that all I could have was uh, after sun's gone. Um, well, blossoms were still pretty and beautiful. Still, without the light that I saw and I had that inspiration uh, at that moment before 
was gone. Uh, so I felt kind of magic was gone. But yeah, I, I say, I, I'll say it was still beautiful and nice blossoms. But yeah, so my point is, um, if you, you, what the best gear, I think, in my opinion, is whatever that you have with you in the, in the moment that you have inst inspiration or the time that you have to get on to work. So, yeah, my lesson, uh, number one, if you want to, if you don't know, uh, if you want to take a better, higher, better or higher quality of your, your life for a moment, <laughs> carry your camera all the time. And number two, um, if you don't have it with you, I mean, then forget about uh, regretting it. Just uh, use whatever you have with you and be happy, be happy about it and capture the moment. Yeah. That's my, that's my message today. <sighs> well, yeah, spring is all around. I uh, hope you all enjoy your spring around you. And if you're in the downside of the earth, like Australia, New Zealand, wherever, please enjoy your autumn and, and yes, um, Jeez, by the way, this tea is so good. Uh, it has a lot of uh, interesting aromas going on and the taste is so good in my mouth. I'm gonna do some review soon. Yeah, about this tea. Oh, uh, okay. So, anyway, this is it for today. Yes, uh, it's so beautiful outside, so maybe it's better for you to carry camera all the time so that you f you don't feel regret like me. And um, it's okay if you don't have it though. If you at least have your mobile, don't um, don't rush back home like me. Just use your mobile and do your best to capture the moment. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Until then everybody, uh, have a good tea time and keep create. No matter what, no excuse. See you later, bye bye.